Hello, my name is Paul Tran, and I want to show you how you can use Edge Animate uh, to create a parallax animation. Now, uh, I've downloaded uh, Edge Animate from creativecloud.com. I've downloaded it, I'm ready to go. But let's go ahead and take a look at what parallax is and really what I'm going to do in Edge Animate. So here is my timeline for this project, and I'm using some CSS blur filters. As I select one of these, you can see the filters as uh, this specific object uh, starts to um, actually blur out over time. Okay, So that's what happens here, and you can see it blur out, and it focuses on the foreground and then the background. And I like this, this look because this animation will just play through be nice and neat how you have this look. Okay, so I like this parallax look, but what I want to do is I want to be able to control this animation using my mouse. So when I move to uh, my mouse to the right, the content should move to the right. Move to the left, content moves to the left. So I'm controlling that timeline based on my mouse position. So I thought that would be pretty fun to do. All right, so. Um, since I know jQuery is actually baked into Edge Animate, I can start to take a look at some of that functionality. So in uh, jQuery, there's this uh, page X and page Y, okay, these events. So I can say, hey, you know what? Wherever I use e.pageX in this case, or page Y, it will actually get the position of my mouse cursor. So as I move around, you can see those numbers change. So that's what I'd want to implement is this e page x on mouse move. All right. So knowing that, I'm going to jump into good old edge animate and take a look right in here because I'm going to first off just create a simple on mouse move. So Here's a mouse move right here. And anytime you move the mouse, then do something. All right, and in this case, it's going to be that e page x that I'm going to take advantage of. So I'd want to write this uh, in the form of a function that I'm going to fire off. So I can say something like this on move, I'll add this e dot page x as a parameter and even do an e dot page y if I wanted to get the vertical position as well which I think would be really awesome uh, but really this is my function call it's gonna have these two parameters which is just gonna get the position of the cursor uh, and that happens on mouse move so it's constantly updating these two variables but now I need to make uh, the function that actually controls the timeline so I'm going into composition ready so when everything is ready, I want to start manipulating that uh, the objects. So I can say this dot on move, which is going to be my function that gets called. The position x is uh, the page position, as I talked about right over here. It's the e page x. Okay, so that gets passed in. It's known as po pose x or pose y and right within these curly braces I can write all the code that I want. All right, and in this case what I want to do is I'm going to have a timeline control that's going to be a number so I'm data typing it as a number saying the position X, whatever that is, wherever the position is we're going to multiply it by say for instance 15, okay? So it might get 1,500. Basically, this is the number of seconds in your timeline. So if I take a look right down here, uh, 15 actually goes to about 20. So I can even up that to about 20, shall we? Since my timeline is 20 seconds long. All right. And then I'm going to add the console log timeline. This is just for testing. Control. I can uh, get the specific number just to make sure everything tests out okay. But I can also just really have this system stop, which is going to stop based on this 
this number that gets generated. So whatever's in this variable. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it right here. Okay. So with that done, uh, really, uh, that's all I need to do. So uh, when the composition is ready, it's going to create this function, and it's going to receive these two parameters, basically on mouse move. When it receives a parameter, it's going to uh, go to that specific place in the timeline based on the x position multiplied by 20. All right, with that done and saved, let's run this. Okay, it runs fine, but as soon as I start to move my mouse, you can see now I have this nice parallax look with my content. Okay, it works out great. Again, I just used position X. There's position Y that I could take advantage of. Uh, really all sorts of cool things you can do. In fact, that's kind of what I want to do is be able to peek up so the content would move down. And as I look down, the content would move up. Uh, but, you know, really you have that sort of interactivity and even as simple as buttons, you have that in there as well. As that bird flies off, good thing he's gone. Which is, oh, or is he? Those little birds. That's how it's done. Uh, pretty straightforward in Edge Animate, taking advantage of jQuery and its functionality. Uh, so I encourage you to try this out for yourself.